somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Maybe so, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the joke's on me, don't ya? Please stop that. <laughs> like I said, the smoke's on you. I've infiltrated the bad guy's base. Now I need to find my informant. He has vital information that I must get back to Spy Corps. Monkey Penny said he would be hidden in here right in front of my face. I don't normally look in other people's medicine cabinets, but I am a spy after all, and I'm on a mission. Aha! Roger Bohr! Spy Corps King of Covert Capers! Yes, and I'm very good at hiding, too. I hope you've got the cure for the common criminal in there for me. Here, take this lipstick. Sorry, that's not my shade. I'm an autumn. It's not really lipstick, Spy Fox. There's a top secret message hidden in it. You need to get that to Spy Corps on the double. On the double, eh? It must be important. I certainly hope so. One more thing, Spy Fox. Quack sent this for your getaway. It's a rocket-powered origami skateboard. The directions are on it. Good luck. I'm out of here. That's where I keep my spy gadgets. It's moving counterclockwise. We must be in the Northern Hemisphere. Wow, this place is crawling with bad guys. I'm going to need some serious spy action to get through them all. I can't get out through that air shaft. When I get this rocket-powered origami skateboard put together, I'm going to shred out of here. I need to fold the rocket-powered origami skateboard in the order shown by the colors on those instructions. That did it! Now I'm rocket-powered and ready for action! A giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet, and it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer. At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter of hours. 
Chief, I retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. The message is probably chemically infused on the outer casing so small we'll need the Super Spy magnifying glass to see it. Did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible! Someone put a message inside the lipstick. Ingenious in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Signed, Plato Pushpin. Of course! Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. He must have information that can help us stop this diabolical orbiting ozone eraser. He was last known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Spy Fox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. I'm on my way. I assume Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up Mobile Command Center there. Of course. Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox. Luck has nothing to do with it. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm really on a roll. So this must be where Poodles Galore has her factory. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. This donut shop looks closed right now. How's it going, sport? Do I know you? How did you know my name? It was a lucky guess, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Can I have that interestingly colored bowling shirt, sport? Yeah, sure. It's just your color. It's on the house today. One per customer trades welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. What a cool jukebox! Here's what... C5. I need to use this... Now that's music! Floating high above the bowling alley is Mobcom Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. You've really taken the Mobile Command Center to new heights, Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. He's the only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol can. But be careful, this Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. Be sure to check out the spy vending machine too, Spy Fox. I've stocked it with a plethora of useful gadgets. And don't forget that you can call me anytime on your spy watch for additional information. Thanks for the brief debriefing. The Spy Toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Pop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. The spy ear. That sounds interesting. How does it work, Professor Quack? This ultrasonic eustachian device provides auditory enhancement through ground silica. Uh, it allows you to hear conversations behind solid glass, Spy Fox. That's quite an earful, Quack. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste.
a spy bowling ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. Say you need to get a secret message, or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target, and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. Tell me again about the spy bowling ball, Quack. Say you need to get a secret message, or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target, and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. That's right down my alley, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. The Spy Pearl Detector. What does this gadget do, Professor Quack? Use it on a bed of oysters to find a pearl. The light will flash faster and faster as you get closer to the pearl. Great! There's nothing worse than muscling a bunch of mollusks for one little pearl. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. The canned laughter. How does this gadget work, Quack? Just pop the top and toss. The sound of laughter will be everywhere. It could be very distracting. I guess you could say it creates a laugh riot, eh, Quack? Yes, I guess you could say that. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. The Spy Mint. I'm sure this does more than fresh in breath. It's really a glow-in-the-dark Spy Mint that will light up dark rooms. You simply bite into the mint to ignite it. Not only is it minty fresh, but it works underwater as well. An underwater glow-in-the-dark fresh maker. Ingenious, Quack! I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. The Sticky Stun Bun. How does this caramel confection work, Quack? You simply toss the caramel-coated spy gadget into a crowd, then get away fast. When the stun bun goes off, it will stun everyone within 10 feet, leaving them dazed and confused for weeks. Quack, that is by far your most stunning gadget yet. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The Duck Blind. What's the insight on this gadget, Professor Quack? You simply put the Duck Blind on like a hat, and it renders you invisible to all ducks. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. The Grappling Granny. What's the deal on this doll, Quack? This doll will allow you to swing over dangerous obstacles. Just give the doll a quick squeeze in the middle and watch as its teeth shoot out of its head, firmly clamping onto anything made of wood. Well, I'm certainly not above playing with dolls. Not if the mission requires it, that is. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The Spy Rust Buster. What's the breaking news on this gadget, Quack? This gadget comes in a handy one-use spray can. Just spray the corrosive formula onto any metal and watch it turn brittle with rust and fall apart. Bust with rust. Good one, Professor Quack. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. Is the spy car ready for action yet, Quack? Not until I've got the trans-Google gear ratio back in sync. Do you know how to shift gears? When I'm hot on the trail of a bad guy, I can't be bothered with that sort of thing.
This machine makes name patches. That looks like a keycard device. Through the use of deductive reasoning, I bet I'll need a keycard to get through that gate. This donut shop looks closed right now. It's the gate to Poodles Galore's Cosmetics Factory and it's locked. It's the pearl detector. I can't use the rust buster there. That's not the best use of the spy here. The spy toaster only goes straight up. The rust buster won't do me any good. Please stand by. The mission is going a little slow, Monkey Penny. Do you have any advice? Remember to talk to people. They often provide clues. Excellent advice, Monkey Penny. Thanks. Mobile Command Center. So, Sport, how do you like working at the bowling alley? It's okay. It has its gutter balls and its strikes. That's a luscious bowl of lemons you have there. Thanks. I picked these out myself. Why are bowling shoes always some strange two-tone color? That's to keep people from stealing them. You wouldn't want to be seen outside a bowling alley with them on. Much like golf shoes. That's my new... I think I should wait until I'm actually... Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. Where is your bowling shirt? You must have a proper bowling shirt. How uncivilized. I'll get right to it. There's something fishy going on here, and it's not my deodorant. It's the pearl detect. Back in the vending machine with this spy gadget.
Now this is a fashion statement, and it's saying, hey, look at me, I'm a bowler. I'm ready for some serious bowling. If you were seriously on my team, you would have the correct color shirt and a name patch that matches the name on our roster. You look like you're a pretty good bowler. Please don't bother, Ace or Champ. They must concentrate on their bowling game. I think it's best to only wear bowling shirts when I'm in a bowling alley. I think I'd rather have that bowling shirt with the pink on it. They all have pink on them, pal. Have a nice day. Thank you. It's a free name patch maker for bowling shirts. T. Y. This bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy! That patch machine works great. I can insert a shirt and change the name anytime I want. I should wait to use the spy bowling ball until I'm on a bowling lane. That's the third ugliest bowling pin I've ever seen. Wait a minute. That's not a bowling pin at all. It's Plato Pushpin, the renowned expert in cosmetic rocketry. It looks like he's about to get bowled over. I've got to save him somehow. Excuse me, Ms. Galore, but I'm ready for some serious 10-pin action. Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Well, that was fun. Time to split. Pushpin! He is gone! Ace! Champ! He must have Pushpin! Don't let him get away! He got away! No matter. It is too late now. Champ, Ace, back to the factory. It's time to really heat the place up. Thank goodness you got my message. I thought Miss Galore was going to make a ten pin split out of me. She caught me before I could get the final ingredient for my congeal pill. It's the only thing that can stop her now. Sounds like a bitter pill to swallow. Just tell me what you need. I still need an unchewed wad of chicle. Chicle is a gummy substance that comes from the jungle. One secret donut XY. A freshwater pearl farmed only in the lake. And the final item I need is the aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from outside the orbiting aerosol can itself. The APD, eh? How am I going to get that with a super spy mess in a mess? Aha! Ow! Poodles has a rocket ship locked in her factory. Perhaps you could borrow it. Here is my key card to the factory. I'm on it like a cheap suit. I'll get these final ingredients for you, Pushpin, or at least get a bad sunburn trying. I'll have the spy car fixed lickety split. The four destinations you need are programmed into the spy car computer. I'll leave it for you in the street below. Thanks, Quack. It will be good to have my spy wheels back.
It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to give Pushpin Shickle from the heart of the jungle. The Quack must have fixed the Trans Google gear. Now I'll be able to travel across the globe spy style. My spy watch is beeping. Monkey Penny must have some important information for me. Please stand by. What's the latest news, Monkey Penny? We've placed Agent Roger Bohr inside Poodle's Cosmetics Factory to gather information. He left here wearing a darling red wig. That is a darling red wig. Thanks, Monkey Penny. I'll keep an eye out for him. Keep us posted, Spy Fox. Monkey Penny out. Hello, my name is Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a secret mission to save... My name is Cookie. I'm a Cookie Scout. You know, Cookie, I remember back when I was a Spy Scout selling decoder rings. This isn't going to be one of those back in my day at Cheeseburger was a nickel stories, is it? Er, uh, no, of course not. Never mind. Hello, my name's Fox, Spy Fox. I'm on a mission to save the world. Well, good for you. My name's Pia Zadonut. I'm only working here until my acting career takes off. May I have a secret donut XY, please? The fate of the world depends on that donut. Oh my, that sounds important. But our ex-donut baker, Bobby Llama, is the only person with the recipe, and he quit to get in touch with his inner donut. I've got to have that donut. Can you make the donut if I find the recipe? With the fate of the world resting on it, of course I can. I can use this talk balloon to gather information on the whereabouts of the ex-donut baker, Bobby Llama. Pia, do you know where I can find Bobby Llama? The last thing he told me was that he was going to the desert to get in touch with his inner donut. Thanks, Pia. You're very helpful. This spy car is a miracle of modern spy technology. Quack programmed it with all the destinations I need. With the push of a button, I'm off. It says, Lake. Ah, the lake. The freshwater pearl farm must be on that platform out in the middle. I can't swim that far. I need to get a ride. This is some freaky shack. Can I help you? Eh, just looking, but thanks for asking. That's a fine-looking jar of pickles. I love their briny, crunchy, pickly goodness. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to... What sort of products do you sell here? I don't sell anything! Wow, that's got to be bad for business. What kind of merchandise do you specialize in? Exotic imports and, you know, stuff. I'm looking for Bobby Llama. Any ideas on where I can find him? I've got a million ideas in my head. Look for Bobby Llama in the desert. Thank you. Avast, matey! I need a ride out to the Pearl Farm! The fate of the world depends on it! I'm using a jiggle glitter fly for bait! But it doesn't seem to be working! I don't think that fisherman heard a word I said.
the Painted Desert. Such landscapes have inspired many artists, such as Georgia O'Keeffe and George Harriman. What brings you to the desert? Prickly pears! I love them! Prickly pear pudding! Prickly pear sandwiches! Prickly pear pizza! Prickly pear gumbo! I get the prickly picture. Do you know where I could find Bobby Llama? He's here in our prickly pear ranch. He doesn't bother the bees, so he's the only non-beekeeper we let in. Right here, eh? Hold on there, you! Only beekeepers tend to their bees can go into the prickly pear ranch. How do you know I'm not a beekeeper? If you were, you would know that all beekeepers must wear their beekeeper hats. You mean I'm not wearing it? How silly of me. I'm going to have to wear a beekeeper hat to get into the prickly pear ranch. Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Have we met before? I think I met you at the World's Fair. Or it could have been on the Greek Isle of Acidophilus. My name's B. B Bear. Is there anything I can get you, honey? Say, for instance, honey? Just let me know. Thanks, B. I will. Do you know where I could find Bobby Llama? Sure. He's in the Prickly Pear Ranch, finding his inner donut right now. He's the only non-beekeeper they let in. Only non-beekeepers, eh? Sounds like I'm going to have to disguise myself as a beekeeper to get into the Prickly Pear Ranch. What made you start up an apiary, Bee? A rampaging robot dog stomped on my relaxation station. So I decided to move on to my one true love, honey. Honey. It says honey. You sure do have a lot of honey. I love honey. And anything honey flavored. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? You never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy spy. And will use it only in the process of saving the world. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. Thanks, B. Bee's beekeeper hat fits perfectly. That guard was no match for my clever beekeeper disguise. It must be hot sitting out here in the cactus. When the glazing of the night pastry is done with the day, the existence of the flower is justified. Excuse me, are you Bobby Llama, the ex-donut baker? I am he. Have you come seeking the inner peace in the donut of your soul? Not really. I've come seeking the recipe to secret donut XY. I see. Here, you may have it, pilgrim. I have since forsaken the comforts of cream-filled fried dough with sprinkles. Thank you. I'm sure this donut recipe will bring inner peace to Poodle's heart.
Pia, I found the recipe for secret donut XY. Well, let's have a look, see. Aw, oh, nuts. It's written in some kind of picture code. You'll have to decode this before I can make you a secret donut XY. I'll leave it here on the counter for you. Hmm, it looks like I'm going to need to use some counter intelligence to break this culinary code. Bobby Llama wrote his donut recipe in... It says, secret ingredient. I'll take a break and come back to this later. I've got to figure out this picture code. The fate of the... I did it! I've cracked the culinary code for Secret Donut XY. It really was no match for a super spy such as myself. Mm-hmm. Let me have a look at it. Yes, yes, not too difficult. Okay, not a problem. You just need to bring me some fresh tapioca from the heart of the jungle. Fresh tapioca? Uh-huh, from the jungle. Right, fresh tapioca from the jungle. Using this talk balloon will help me gather information about finding tapioca for Secret Donut XY. Things seem pretty quiet tonight, don't they, officer? I'll say. No riots, no hooligans, not even a jaywalker. Nothing to do but hang out at the donut shop. Ah, the jungle. An ancient and complex ecosystem teeming with diverse life. Home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. And it's really hot here too. Back in the vending machine with this spy gadget.
There's going to be a bungle in the jungle today! All right, Granny, do your stuff! Hello there. The name's Fox. Spy Fox. What are you doing up here? I'm Stanley Ellington Seagull, intrepid adventurer. I'm on safari. A safari, hmm? How exciting. Do you know where I can find some fresh tapioca? I should say so, old bean. It's the only thing I found to eat in this dreadful jungle. Morning, noon, and night, it's tapioca, tapioca, tapioca. It's simply ghastly. I'd give the Queen's royal jewels for a salami sprinkles donut. Well, that sounds like a very interesting trade, but how about some tapioca for the donut instead? For a salami sprinkles donut, you can have the whole bag of tapioca. Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm Trudy Fruit. I'm here studying Chickle for my PhD in Gamatology, but some pink clad pranksters locked all of the Chickle inside Chickle P2. There must be some way to get in. The only way in is to set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Got it! With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. I need to figure out this hieroglyphic code to get into Chickle Pichu. So, if you were looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu, where would you look? I'd look for it in an import shop. I overheard one of those big pranksters mention something like that. Good idea. Thanks. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? White pants face powder. That must be some kind of code phrase. If only I knew what the correct response was. I'd like the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu, please. White pants face powder. I'm sure that's some kind of code phrase. I'm going to need the response code to get that amulet. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. What is it, Monkey Penny? Agent Pins has been dispatched to the desert. She has intercepted a useful gadget from Poodle's cosmetic factory for you. I can't quite make her out. Right, she's in disguise. Monkey Penny out. I think I might be getting tropical fever. You're looking sharp, Pins. Ah! It must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. 
Keep your cool, Pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counterphrase. Ingenious. And it has all the latest designer colors, too. Good luck, Spy Fox. I'm out of here. Plan B. It's the Cosmetic Counter Code Phrase Compact. White Pants Face Powder. Pressing that button accessed a hang on the backyard line. Hang on the backyard line. Here's the amulet. Be careful it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry, I'll carry it in my right hand. Remember, you'll need the hieroglyph code as well as the amulet to get into Chicklepichu. Right. Thank you. It's been very interesting talking to you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. I'd like a salami sprinkles donut, please. The fate of my stomach may depend on that donut. One fresh hot donut on its way. One fresh hot donut up. Yippee. I just love free donut day. It looks like I'll have to distract that donut eating machine if I'm ever going to get my hands on a donut. Play-Doh Pushpin's key card worked like a charm. Er, a key, I mean. This should create some excitement for our boy in blue. I'd better toss it outside. I don't want to disturb the donut maker. <laughs> What's that? Why, officer, I do believe some hooligans have started a laugh riot out in the streets. Hooligans? Laugh riot? Well, I'll just see about that. All right, you hooligans, come on out. You can't hide from me forever. I hated having to do that. We are on the same side and all, but I'm a spy and I'm on a top secret mission to save the world.
I'd like a salami sprinkles donut, please. The fate of my stomach may depend on that donut. One fresh hot donut on its way. Get your fresh fried donut right here. I'll save this for later. Ah, back to the jungle where the orchids grow. Here you are, Stanley. One delicious, if not nutritious, salami sprinkles donut. Jolly good. That hit the spot. Here you are, then. One bag of the freshest tapioca you'll ever find. Thanks, Stanley. Tasty tapioca, a key ingredient to success. The amulet worked, but I still need to set the hieroglyph code before the door will open. What made you decide to go into the field of gumatology, Trudy? I'm fascinated by all the gum flavor possibilities. I want to start my own brand of meat-flavored gum. Trudy's double meat gum, I'd call it. Gummy meat goodness, eh? Here you are, Pia. Fresh tapioca straight from the jungle. Can you make me a secret donut XY now? Will I be fresh tapioca? One secret donut XY coming up! There you are, Mr. Fox. One fresh hot secret donut XY. Enjoy! Thanks, Pia. This donut could be the key to saving the entire planet. Oh my gosh! Planet Broadway is in danger? Eh, no. Planet Earth. Oh! Hmm... Meanwhile, orbiting high above the Earth, Poodle's Galore's aerosol onslaught continues. In only a matter of hours, my special blend of aerosol will have completely destroyed the ozone! The sun will then beat relentlessly down upon the Earth. All the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen! Poodle's brand SPF 2001! Then I will not only be the queen of cosmetics, but the undisputed ruler of the world! <laughs> oh, I'm starting to shine. It's the ingredient list for push pins. Con I'm in the cosmetics factory. I have two objectives in here. One, 
borrow Poodle's rocket ship. And two, find the informant Roger Bohr. Good enough, I no good old numbers. I can't hear what those guards are saying. I need some additional hearing aid. Then he just dropped the entire load of cassavas. Wham! <laughs> the spy ear is working. Those guards are coming through loud and clear. Miss Galorisher comes up with wacky combinations for the safe containing the key to the rocket ship. Whoever heard of itchy lip lotion as a combination for a safe? Whatever happened to good old numbers? <laughs> the combination to the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I'm going to need that key if I'm going to borrow that rocket. I'd better write it down. Oops, I'm going to get an earful from Quack about that. Well, this room is head and shoulders above the rest. It must be some kind of makeup test room. Spy Fox, over here. Eh, uh, who said that? Over here, the redhead. Roger Bohr. Wow, you had me wigged out there for a second. Sorry, there's been a lot of hairy stuff going on around here. If you need any info about Poodle's Cosmetic Factory, just ask. Roger, Roger. Here's where my notes go. I use... Itchy Lip Lotion. It's the combo. How diabolical! That device is some sort of hair security scanner. I'm going to have to get an appropriate hair of the day wig disguise if I'm going to get past this crazy contraption. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the hair of the day. <sighs> 
I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a blue mullet, accented with a delightful butterfly accessory. Sounds more like the hair of yesterday to me. Thanks for the information, Roger. Wow, this machine looks like some sort of scalp enhancement device, otherwise known as a wig-making machine. That screen shows the different styles of wigs this wigged-out machine can make. Those buttons change the wig color. Four fashion colors to choose from. That's a pompadour style wig. That screen shows the different accessories I can add to my wig. That's a butterfly accessory. I think I'll make this wig. Not bad, but I think I'll keep it in my pocket until I really need it. I can't use that there. The ancient ruin of Chickle Pichu is ruining this mission. I need to figure out how to get inside. That's not going to do me any good. That's not go- I'm going to need a wig disguise to get through that hair scanner. Only Poodles Galore would have a hair of the day security scanner. But that won't stop this spy. That's the hair of the day security scanner. Interesting, but I don't think that will do me any good. Interesting, but I don't... Only Poodles Galore would have a hair of the day security scanner. But that won't stop this spy. I certainly don't feel pretty in this. My wig disguise got me past that hairy scanner. I'll leave it here so I can get back out. Talk about hairy scary. I think I'll leave this wig here for safekeeping.
Now this is going above and beyond the call of duty. I hope Quack's sticky stun bun has more than flower power in it. <laughs> the sticky stun bun worked! Quack's caramel coated confection has left those guards stuck in their tracks. I hope those guards don't have an itch they need to scratch. This rocket ship is locked up tighter than a really tight thing. I'm going to need a key to get into it. Wouldn't you know it, Poodles remembered to lock the door to her rocket ship. It's the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I just need to enter the correct... That crazy combination worked. I've got the key to Poodle's rocket ship. No safe is safe with this spy around. This rocket ship is locked up tighter than a really tight thing. I'm going to need a key to get into it. We have liftoff! The key worked! I'm sure Poodles will be mad that I borrowed her rocket, but it's her own fault for being evil. Sweet sabotage! Look at the size of that aerosol abomination! I've got to stop it before it depletes the ozone layer and everyone gets a nasty sunburn! APD. That must stand for aerosol particle diameter. Pushpin needs that number for his congeal pill. I'll just copy it onto a compact disc for safekeeping. I've got to stop that ozone eradicator! I can't wait to see the look on Poodle's face when she sees her aerosol congeal into a harmless mess! Talk about a bad hair day.
It took all of my spy abilities, but here is the secret donut X1. Thank you, Mr. Spy Fox. The glutinous quality of the secret filling is an essential ingredient of the congeal pill. Now all I need is Kickle from the heart of the jungle, a freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake, the APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spy Fox. Now all I need is... Tickle from the heart of the jungle, a freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake, and then I can complete the congeal pill. The jungle has been the backdrop for many Hollywood movies. I can swing over that nasty quicksand any time I want with the help of Quack's Grappling Granny Spy Gadget. Lake. My mint won't do me any good. You don't have any gum, do you? Why do you ask that? Well, I feel like chewing gum, but never mind. Please stand by. I'm looking for the way into the ancient ruin of Chickle Pichu. You need to take a really good look around the ruins, Spy Fox. Thanks, Monkey Penny, I will. I'm already there. There's going to be a bungle in the jungle today.
I cracked the code. Now I can get in there and get that chickle. What made you decide to go into the field of gumatology, Trudy? I'm fascinated by all the gum flavor possibilities. I want to start my own brand of... No missing ancient amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out for long. Now to find that chickle. Those blades may be sharp, but I've got the edge. Have a dose of Quack's Rust Buster, you bad blades. Quack's Instant Oxidizer literally busted those blades with rust. I found the chickle. It appears to be penned in by that gate. Well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that chickle in no time. If this wasn't a spy toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. But it is a spy toaster, and I am a spy, so here goes. At last, I have my piece of chickle. It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy... Uh-oh! That was close, but I got out of that pickle with the chickle. Chew on that, poodles galore. I was destined to be the reigning baroness of beauty. Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize. As a teenager, I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen. of which were far superior to the major brand. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of the cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe. The compact crash of 97. The Bay of Polish in 98. But now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodle's arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Everyone will either baste themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say, live and let fry. What made you decide to go into the field? I'm already there. I used to play the banjo, but I quit because there were too many strings attached. Here is the chickle pushpin. Ah, the chickle! Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal peel. Now all I need is a freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Please stand by. 
Spy Fox, why are you using your very expensive spy watch to call me when I'm right here in the room? Because it's fun hearing you in stereo. Spy Fox, out. Radioactive Trash Collector. Wow, what a trashy game Professor Quack has installed on my watch this time. How to play Radioactive Trash Collector. Use the crosshair to aim. Do you like being a cookie scout, Cookie? Yes, it's fun! But I wish we didn't have to spend so much time selling cookies, even if it's for charity! Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, Cookie. Like I haven't heard that one before! That's a luscious bowl of lemons you have there. Thanks, I picked these out myself.
Please stand by. The mission is going a little slow, Monkey Penny. Do you have any advice? Don't forget about Quack's spy gadget, Spy Fox. Right. I'll keep that in mind. The spy pearl detector won't do me any good there. It's not dark. There's nothing for the spy mint to light up. Wearing the duck blind... Avast, matey! I need a ride out to the pearl farm! The fate of the world depends on it! Empire State Building? Won't find that around here! That fisherman didn't understand a word I said. I bet he could hear me better if I had something to project my voice with. That's a great megaphone. Thanks! I use it to shout at potential customers because I can be hard to hear! What kind of potential customers? Potential cookie buyers! I only have to sell three more boxes of cookies to get an official Cookie Scout stunt bike. Completely tricked out with foot pegs, banana-style saddle, alligator grips, and this thing in the handlebars that tells time! Wow, that sounds pretty neat. Are you a potential customer? No, I'm a spy. But I tell you what, I'll help you sell your cookies so you can get that bike. Then you won't have to yell through that megaphone anymore. Thanks, Mr. Spy! Here you go! No problem. Why, I remember with... Would you like to buy some coconut curry crunches? No thanks. As an actor, I really have to watch what I eat. And I really don't see me eating anything like that. Can I interest you in some luscious lemon listies? No, thank you. I'm simply not motivated to buy anything like that. I bet if you try just one dill pickle drop, you won't be able to stop. No, thank you. I get to eat all I want working here. And when I'm on the set, the food is catered. Can I interest you in some luscious lemon listies? Luscious lemon listies? Sure, I'll take a box. It's amazing how they get such a lemony flavor without using any lemons. On behalf of the Cookie Scouts, thanks, sport. You're welcome. Would you like to buy a yummy box of dill pickle drops? They're delicious. You've got dill pickle drops? They're all so vinegary. I'll take them. Yay! <coughs> Thank you. I'm sure you and your box of dill pickly goodness will be very happy. Back to 
the jungle where the orchids grow. Would you like to buy some delicious coconut curry crunches? Oh, I sure would. I love coconut curry crunches. They have the perfect mix of coconut, curry, and crunch. Here you are, Cookie. I sold all the Cookie Scout cookies you gave me to sell. Hot bananas! Now I can get my very own official Cookie Scout stud bike completely tricked out with foot pegs, banana style saddle, alligator grips, and that thing on the handle that tells time! Bye, Mr. Spy! <laughs> Gee, kids are so cute. Loud, but cute. No one will misunderstand me when I use this little baby. Sorry about your megaphone there. My name's Herman. That's okay. My friend Cookie was done with it. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a secret mission to... Hop aboard. I haven't got all day. Thanks, Herman. Poodle's Pearl Farm. I'm getting close to that pearl now. That was close. That looks like one of Poodle's goons. I better not let him see me. Let's just see how that malicious mallard likes Professor Quack's duck blind gadget. Duck blind, don't fail me now. I walked right past that guard. The duck blind impaired his ocular nerve center. In other words, he didn't see me. I'm in the oyster house, but look at that mountain of mollusks. I'm going to need help picking a pearl out of this pile. The pearl detector will pinpoint a pearl for me in no time. I must be getting closer to a pearl. I'm getting warmer. Okay, Oyster, don't be shellfish. Hand over that pearl. Hmm. Eureka! I've got the pearl Plato pushpin needs for his congeal pill. Back on Poodle's Galore's Aerosol Space Station, we find she has called a meeting with the highest muckety-mucks of the cosmetic industry. 
Sable Keen, the top boss in blush. Mary Eyeliner, winner of the 1999 Smelly Award for the perfume, You de Pew. Thank you for coming, darling. I invited you here today because together you represent the cup I mean the cream of the cosmetic world. But now, you are to become the cosmetic supplier to the stars. Oh, it's so nice to have those perfume posters out of my pink poodly hair. Now I can get on with cosmetic domination. Could I trouble you for a ride back to shore, Herman? No trouble at all. Thanks for the boat ride, Herman. I had to muscle this pearl out of a selfish shellfish. But here you are, Pushpin. What a superb pearl, Mr. Spy Fox. That is the final ingredient. Now I can finish the congeal pill. Mr. Spy Fox, you must toss this pill directly into the aerosol inside the orbiting aerosol can. It is highly unstable, so I would not waste any time getting out of the aerosol can. Got it. Pitch the pill and ditch the can. You should take this with you, Spy Fox. It's a Swiss spy knife. It's got a fork and a toothpick. That will come in handy if I'm ever caught dining without utensils. It also has a pair of chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through sheer metal. Now this is going above and beyond the call of duty. Poodles galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. What? No, I don't think so. You weren't very good at bowling either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox. Spy Fox. And in the name of Spy Corps, I hereby place you under spy arrest. Not today, Foxy! I must warn you that I'm an expert in cock-a-doodle-foo. Drat. That steel net will keep you out of trouble. Now to finish my cosmetic caper. 
Well, I've certainly gotten myself into a fine steel mesh this time. I have to get out of this steel net and get that congeal pill back. Maybe there's something in Quack's Swiss spy knife that will get me out of this fine mesh. Uh, maybe I can use the toothpick to pick my way out. Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the congeal pill. I'm glad today wasn't garbage collection day. This time I'll be super ultra sneaky when I toss this into the aerosol. This time I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal! Pill? <laughs> Oh. How do you like them apples, Poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable! The whole thing is gonna blow! I can't let Poodles get away! A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy! Not so fast, Poodles Galore! with this impenetrable force field protecting my moon base. I'm snug as a bug and have plenty of time to devise my revenge. Let's see. There's always Operation Beauty Bark. How diabolical. A fingernail recognition device. Uh-oh, I hear a guard coming. My spy watch is beeping. I hope it's not a telemarketer. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey Penny. Say, you look like you're in a mess. That's the super mess, Spy Fox. I'm right outside the moon base, but I can't get through the force field. I'll deactivate that force field just as soon as I can. I have to get in first, then figure out the special fingernail scanning device. Good luck, Spy Fox. We're all behind you on this one. This is the keypad that controls the door to the control room. That opened the door. I'm in there like swimwear. 
This is Poodle's Moon Base Control Center. I need to turn the force field off so Monkey Penny can land the Super Spy Mess. This looks like an automated fingernail painting machine. How handy! I need to use it to paint my fingernails exactly like Poodle's. With the... I've got to stop that mad dog. I wonder how you open that closet. There doesn't seem to be any handle. There's a room with a surveillance monitor over there. Think I'll do a little sightseeing, spy style. Ow! Oh, the humanity! Oh! <laughs> Pickled potatoes! I've been pummeled by an enormous pink powder puff. What a humiliating trap! Well, there is no way to get to that surveillance monitor without pulling the plug on that powder puff first. That switch must be the off switch for Poodle's pink powder pump pummel device. Now to shut off the... 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 Pup! Whoa! Nelly! Up! Uh, you pink nightmare! Interesting. That switch didn't seem to do anything. I suppose there is a remote chance that it's a remote switch. That funny little switch in the other room must have opened this closet. Those look like perfume bottles. They must really be important to keep locked up like this. And you never know when a little perfume might come in handy. Subtle yet overpowering. Maybe if I'm really quiet... Ow! Oh, okay! My nose is powdered now! Ah! <laughs> Poodle's powder puff is really getting on my nerves. Not to mention the rest of me. I think I'll leave that switch alone. Interesting, but I don't think that will do me any good. That is definitely not going to fit. I'd better take one perfume bottle at a time. I don't want them to get suspicious. I'll put the other one back. It's like a party in my nose and everyone's invited. That perfume bottle fit perfectly. 
I think it turned this machine off. Ingenious! That perfume bottle was really a dyadic stopulator in disguise. That pulled the plug on Poodle's pink puff of doom. Now I can continue my mission. Okay, Powder Puff, give me all you've got. Ah! Heh, it was just a little powder. The Dionic Stopulator disguised as a perfume bottle did the trick. Poodle's Powder Puff is out of commission. This must be Poodle's security center. She must have surveillance cameras set up all around her moon base. I've been there. Please let the man go, so to speak. These buttons scroll through the different surveillance cameras Poodles has set up around her moon base. He'll never fix it that way. He'll never fix it that way. I wonder if he's stuck. It's a close-up of Poodles Galore's fingernails. I need to paint mine exactly like hers so I can deactivate the force field. There's a party on the planet and everyone's invited. I wonder if he gets paid by the hour. Is he digging himself out or in? I wonder if there are any pancakes in there. Control Z. I need to use this device to paint my fingernails exact. This allows me purple, green. That fingernail painter is fast. I don't even have to wait for them to dry. Green clovers. As they say in France, ooh la la. It worked. Now to muzzle that poodle for good. Monkey Penny, the force field is down. Stick him! Copy that, Spy Fox. We're in there like swimwear. Hey, that's my... Oh, never mind. What? What is going on? Oh, that chump that turned the force field off! I'm that chump, poodles. Again. This time I'll take care of you myself! I must warn you that I am an expert in cock-a-doodle crew. Not so fast, Poodles. Thanks, Monkey Penny. It really wasn't necessary. I was using the Spy Play Possum maneuver. Sure, Spy Fox. Would you believe the Limp Biscuit maneuver? Mm-hmm. How about the Dead Fish maneuver? Mm-hmm. Here, have some hard candy. Spy Fox, for your super spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can and... 
capturing that pernicious poodle's galore, I present you the really big award of stupendous merit. Thanks, Chief. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll take a vacation. I'm dog tired. Restart. He spent Quit. Days in peril. He gets the clues that solve the crime. He always helps his fellow man. He has a gun that makes him cool. He can't escape any traps. He's got the gumption that we need to save us all from the pool. Restart. Quit. 